What's up everyone? Um, in this video, I will share with you on how to extend your visit pass in Singapore as a tourist without a local sponsor. So welcome back guys, my name is Ronald. Uh, just a quick story, my wife here, she has a 30 days uh, stay here in Singapore. So we went to an ICA website to apply for another 30 days. After the whole process, uh, we are lucky enough to get an up another 30 days of extension. So before we begin, just a quick advice. If your last day here in Singapore as a tourist is on the, let's say maybe 10th of June, you can apply on the 31st of May or 1st of June. So in case anything happen, you can still, still plan for your uh, remaining days here in Singapore. Okay, first, Go to Google and search for ICA extension. Choose this option. Scroll down and select apply online or e-services. It's the same link. And for your requirements, make sure you have your passport and your Singapore arrival card ready. If you are being sponsored by a local permanent, by a local or a PR permanent resident, make sure to have their SingPass account ready as well. Choose apply for extension. For the first question, just answer accordingly, yes or no. If you have a local sponsor or PR, you can get more than 30 days. If not, for our case, we will only select 30 days. Select individual and your nationality. Answer accordingly and press next. Fill in with your full name as shown in your passport, whether it's last name, first name, and middle name, depending on the pattern in your passport, format, your date of birth, gender, nationality, place of birth, your disembarkation number, DE number, it's in your Singapore arrival card, and your purpose of visit. And then fill in your passport details accordingly. Alright, next is your email and contact number. Make sure to use a Singapore Singapore uh, phone number. We tried a Philippine number, it, it didn't, they did not accept it. After that, fill in your address in Singapore. Answer accordingly, yes or no. And then choose next. So in this remark section, we did not write anything. But if you want to write something, if it's necessary, you, you can you can add something. So af before we press submit, uh, make sure that there are no errors. Because if you submitted a false information or anything, it might get rejected. Save the PDF for your reference. So the next working day, we receive an email. Um, it says that we need to make a payment. So what we did, we so now let's head back to the same page in ICA. And then this time, we will choose application status. You can either put your DE number or your passport information and then click next. Click here for payment because um, the visit pass will only be approved. I mean, it will be only affected when the payment is done. So the price is 30 Singapore dollars. You, you still have two to three days to make payment, but uh, we decided to just pay it as soon as possible. So you just click the button payment here and then use your credit, key in your credit card details. Uh, make sure that there are no pop-up blockers because sometimes there is an OTP that needs to, there will be an OTP that will pop up. So make sure that it's not blocked in your browser. So once everything is settled, your payment is done. You can download your visa extension as a PDF. Here I can show you a sample. And this will be your official document or your disembarkation card. You know, just in case uh, you need to show it for inspection during your stay here in Singapore, you have this valid extension. 
all right so that's it for now um if you guys have any question please feel free to comment down below and i will try to answer it one by one if you have uh if you need you can check out our channel for other travel requirements here in singapore we have um, how to fill up um, singapore arrival card and the travel requirements in here in singapore yeah so if you find this helpful please do subscribe and share it to your friends or to anyone here in youtube